Ever since we first visited the USA, I was amazed by the sheer amount of restaurant chains that I have never seen before. It felt like a whole new world of food to try, especially the burger options. So today, Diana is forcing me to try 8 different restaurant chains in one day, so we can know which burger rules over them all. All right, so we're in the car and we're on our way to our first stop. Today is gonna be amazing. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm gonna eat all the burgers that America has to offer and find out which one is the best one and in general see if they're good or not. Yes, this is so exciting. We're trying to accomplish 20 years of a American fast food lifestyle into one day. Yes. I'm supporting my husband on this. I'm gonna become an American in one day by eating all of these burgers. <laughs> if you finish all of these burgers, they're gonna hand you the American citizenship. <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen that's in this video. That's not quite how it works. While Phil is overly giddy about a full day of eating burgers, I drive us to our first destination. And our first stop is going to be the golden arch standard for fast food burgers, McDonald's. This video is going to be a lot in the car, but maybe we can get out for some of them. However, what's funny to me, or what's interesting to me, is this like drive through culture. Yes, that guy just went by. So they often have drive throughs with multiple lanes, which is pretty cool, I guess. You just uh, basically never have to leave your car. On the glorious Greenville Saturday, do you want to use our app today? Uh, no, thank you. What you having? Um, could I please have a Big Mac meal, but a small one with a Coke? No, oh, it's small. Yes. Okay. What else? That's it. Awesome, thank you. All right, first location is McDonald's. But before we start, a little establishing of ground rules here. I think we're going to get the staple burger at every place, which at McDonald's is the Big Mac. And we're gonna do, I would say, a two-biter. I take two bites and then we're gonna rate the burger and then you do the same thing. And we also get fries on the side. We get the regular fries, unless they have some nicer fries like curly fries or that. But they're not that important. It's mainly about the burgers. To be honest, I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. When I go to McDonald's, I order something else. But here it is. It has been more than 10 years, so I'm curious. It's actually a pretty heavy burger. You get obviously the double patty with the bun in the center. Pickles on there and then that Big Mac sauce and cheese. I didn't remember that the Big Mac actually had cheese. Oh, this feels so messy already. Mm. Wow, good thing your bites are huge. Very soft, already swallowed. That's uh, very normal. Okay, <laughs> second, like for McDonald's <laughs> burger, right? Very soft, already swallowed. That's a quote. Okay. Mm. You took your two bites, done. We have a lot to go. Nice bite here. The good thing is, all the ingredients mix well together. For me, the sauce is not doing it a lot. It's not horrible though. Let's just give this a five. I think it's a five. It's an average burger. Mm, not that great and it's a good medium so we can see what else is better or worse than the Big Mac. All right, quick try of the McDonald's fries. This is the small version. There's definitely some salt on there. Oh, they're better than they look today. I think there's a big debate what one's better, the McDonald's fries or the Burger King fries. I definitely think the Burger King fries are better. Oh, we'll find out today. Don't worry. We'll find out. These taste better than they look. I actually give these a 6.0. Whoa. I don't even remember the last time I had a Big Mac. It's been years, so. Same. We'll go for it. One or two bites? Maybe two. Two bite max. It has this Big Mac sauce yeah. that's very familiar. It's almost like a big tasty sauce, but not quite. It's not as like roasted or smoked. Five out of 10, yeah. Maybe six out of 10 for the fast food burger scale, but I'll start with a five out of 10 final rating. And then here's some fries. Eat them like a walrus. Walrus. I don't know. I think McDonald's fries are the best. What? Well, if we're counting fast food fries, Right? These are a 7.5 out of 10. Du sollst den Tag nicht vor dem Abend loben. That's the first place, so don't say it's the best. We'll find out. Well, yeah, we'll see. All right, right, next. And now that we have the Big Mac in our bellies and under our belts, we didn't have to go very far for our next destination. So while we're sitting in this traffic, I show you here, it's pretty busy today. Um, the good thing is America is built in a certain way all of the restaurants we're going to are right on this one street. 
Yes, within a five kilometer radius, everything is right here. If, it's Woodruff Road if you're familiar with the Greenville, South Carolina area. And I do not know why we decided to film this on a Saturday. It is packed right it is now. It's packed, but uh, that is one thing that I take away from the US. So I took away the first time I came. The entire US landscape just built like this streets, strip malls, and then chains, chains, chains. Everything is always in like a 10 mile radius. Yeah. We were sitting in the McDonald's drive through and I was like, I think there are more people in their cars around this than actually inside of the restaurant. We should have gone inside. I bet there was nobody in there. Yeah. Just outside. Yeah. But uh, we'll keep on driving at a slow pace. <laughs> Less than a mile down the road, but over 20 minutes later, we finally arrive at stop number two. I have never been to this chain called Hardee's and we decided to step outside of the car to actually walk a few steps over to go inside. And like we assumed, the inside was completely empty. All right, so we came to Hardee's. For me, this is the first time ever. I've never been to a Hardee's before. Apparently it's one of the biggest burger chains in the US and we got the famous star with cheese, which is their signature burger. We looked that up. It's basically this basic cheeseburger here. It looks very saucy. There seems to be ketchup and mayonnaise on it. One patty, American cheese, a lot of sauce, onions, tomato, lettuce. Actually, it looks pretty good for this German. The first time Hardee's ever. Curious, <laughs> I love being a burger food reviewer. Ooh, very different. Very interesting. I don't know how to eat this. Here we go. That's your second bite. You're done. I'm glad I took that second bite. The first one wasn't the best. The second one was way better. I think this is a pretty decent burger. If you look at this, you can see it's a nice spongy bread. The crunch of the onion and the tomatoes there and the lettuce, I like that a lot. I like when my burgers on the fresher side. The patty itself tastes really like flame grilled. I don't know how they do it, but it's a little smokier texture, which is nice. And then the cheese on top. However, the only downside I think is the patty is very small. I know they offer a double cheeseburger, a double famous burger, whatever it's called. That might be better because here the meat ratio is a little low. Hardee's, I'm actually not disappointed. I think I'll rate this a 7.1. That's pretty decent. Okay, quick try of the fries. They look a little darker, a little more orange, a little more brown. It looks actually pretty nice. They're probably very deep fried. They're okay, they're very, very deep fried. Um, the potato taste is it's barely there anymore. They're 5.0. So I also have never been to Hardee's before, mm. even though even though I grew up in the US, it's always advertised as like a manly place. All of their advertisements were like, this is the burger for men. Oh, I just yeah. remember that growing up, so. Let's give it a try. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very saucy, I immediately noticed. Yes. Coming off with ketchup, mayonnaise, pickle, juice. Believe it or not, I think I like it better than the Big Mac. Definitely. I think I would give this like a, a seven? Yeah. Out of 10 for the fast food burger scale? That's surprising. I didn't expect it. Yeah, I mean, we don't eat fast food burgers a lot, but uh, this stuff. one might be the new one. <laughs> Three out of 10, pretty mid. <laughs> There's the Hardys. we're leaving it to the next one and let's see if we can show you in real time. By the way, next door, Krispy Kreme donuts. So dessert always right there as well. But we're not eating donuts today, at least not for this video. Well, no, we're not eating donuts today, <laughs> period. End of sentence. Yeah, so look at these American clouds. They're very nice, very <laughs> nice clouds they have here. They're over North America. They're American then. Yeah. Well, real time didn't really work out. We're standing in the traffic. Yes, welcome to parking lot traffic. This is what we call strip wall, mall. Bacon vape, Persians, biryani, Indian grill, the Dollar Tree. Over there, we have a bank building drive through, then a Chick fil A, and uh, the Zaxby's right there. And then there, in the distance, is a Walmart and the Burger King should be right there. This is how basically 95% of the US is built. At this point, I'm confident that we could walk to these restaurants faster than driving. Even though the parking lots and roads are spacious, the traffic is just packed, especially on a Saturday. We just had to go to what is considered McDonald's biggest rival, Burger King, making this stop number three on this burger day. 
Ugh, I don't know why we're doing this. Welcome to the Southeast where you have small talk at the window. She was like, where's this bank from? I was like, he's German. He wants to try all the burgers in America. <laughs> She's like, is there- Don't they have Burger King over there? <laughs> and we were like, yeah, but they taste different. <laughs> so here we go. Next spot, we went to Burger King, as you can see. And uh, to be honest, the Whopper, the most famous burger from Burger King, it's probably the burger on the list that I'm least excited for. I think the Whopper, if you add cheese and bacon, is pretty decent, but the standard one, meh. At least that's what I remember. Again, a burger that I haven't ordered in years. Stop yes. prefacing it so much. Just get into it. Unboxing. Wow, it's super hot. It's super fresh. This is probably the freshest, hottest Whopper I've ever had. What I'm surprised by, I think the bun is a little darker than I remember. Maybe they changed them up they a bit. Changed the they changed them up a bit. Typical Whopper, mayonnaise, lettuce, Tomato, onion, meat, and no cheese on the Whopper. That's the big downfall of the Whopper in my opinion, but I'm gonna shut up now and eat it. Just eat it already. We have 20 more to go. <laughs> mm. It's a typical Burger King taste. If you ever been there, and I'm sure you have been, you know what I'm talking about. I think Burger King has the worst buns of all the fast food places. It's just not nice. It's so dry. It's a sesame bun that they've been using for years forever and it's freaking dry and tastes milky. It's weird. I ranked this surprisingly to myself worse than the Big Mac. I think this is a 4.5. Okay. Let's see if anything can be worse than that. Let's give this Whopper a try. What a Whopper. Where's the bias? I don't think it's bias. This is so objective since we're eating this so close back to back. I think you're right, the bread is shit. Yeah, okay. That's like a, <gasps> this is like a three out of 10 for me. No second bias. Two out of 10, maybe, it, <laughs> I think this is a two out of 10. Okay. I would not ever order this again or eat it. Sorry. Wow, harsh words for Burger King today. All right, let's try their fries. The ones that Phil says are so amazing. In Germany. They're so greasy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. These are the small fries, they're 249. It's tiny. And uh, I'm just curious if they're better than the McDonald's ones, to be honest. They're so bad. Wow. Didn't you say Burger King was better? And didn't think, you say that? Yes, I did say that. I'm, I'm referring to Europe here. I think in Europe, the Burger King fries are different. We established that years ago, that the fries are very different. So I think Burger King uh, does some of the sides better, like the, the potato wedges and stuff like that. That's now you're just trying that. to be nice and, you know, save, save it all. No, no. Well, if everything would be this bad, how come they're still in business and the second biggest? How is that? Good maybe marketing. you know. Good marketing. I know, <laughs> yeah, maybe. After that very bad burger at the King of Burgers, it was time to finally try a burger that many of you recently commented was quote, so good. In an earlier video, I tried my first ever corn dog at Sonic. I was so excited to finally try a corn dog, but spoiler alert, this corn dog wasn't very great, especially compared to another one we tried. But go watch that video if you're interested. So we came back to Sonic to now try that cheeseburger. Sonic drive-in and funny thing, they give you a couple candy, which uh, we're not gonna try in this video. So Sonic's most famous burger, apparently the standard Sonic cheeseburger. Sonic also known to be a hot dog place, right? This burger looks very clean cut, very nice to be honest. Like you would draw a burger, nice brioche bun here, two slices of tomato, two slices of pickle, American cheese, some mayonnaise, diced onion on there, and a pretty thick patty. This actually feels Good, and uh, looks better than what I expected from Sonic, but two biter, and here we go. Okay, okay, I'm not sure yet, second bite. Wow, that's hard to rate. It looks very good, but it also doesn't look very realistic, and it tastes not super fresh. I can taste the brioche bun pretty strongly, but there's barely meat taste to it. I'd give this a 5.8 or 6.0. So better than the Big Mac? Slightly better, yeah. Okay. 5.8, okay. 5.8 for me, okay. Quick try fries, very thin cut fries, skin on, on the outside, look a little pale. They taste strange. They have a very significant like strong taste, but not a very potatoey taste. Mm. 
That's very weird. Not that great. I prefer McDonald's over this any day. Let's give it a try. I don't think I've ever had a Sonic burger before. Me neither, by the way. What's the first one? Mm. Tiny bites. Mm. It's okay. Right? Definitely better than the Whopper because the Whopper is garbage <laughs> <laughs> from Burger King, but it's a uh, pretty mediocre. I would also give this a five out of 10. I think it's on the same level as the Big Mac. It's pretty mid to me. All right, fries. <laughs> Why are you so greasy? Question mark. I mean, it's fast food. Why am I questioning the grease level? But I think after this try of Sonic and the Sonic video we made, I could live the rest of my life never going back to Sonic. I'm good. That's true. I think McDonald's over Sonic. Although the burger is it's not really disappointing, but it's not nothing special either. Yeah, it's okay. Goodbye, Sonic. And then hello, Wendy's right there. So to me, this is just amazing. We're spending basically the whole day in the car. You can eat, you can do everything. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, back in Germany, where I grew up, I remember when we got our first fast food joint. It was a McDonald's, of course, and the first drive through in our town of like a town of 12,000 people, so it's small. But yeah, that was the first one. I think that was in the 90s or so. And then like 15, 20 years later, we got a Burger King. So now they have like two. And those are basically the only drive throughs we have there. But here, everything is drive through like everything. Yes. Hello, look at that. We're already at the Wendy's. Took just 20 seconds from the Sonic. One thing that I notice is uh, if we wait in the drive-thru, it's such a long wait, but every time we come in to a shop and just sit down and eat, it doesn't take that long. Look, Phil already has the food. So we made it to Wendy's and I have high hopes for this one. I feel like it's one of the ones that you hear after McDonald's Burger King about the US. I think it's very popular. And we got Dave's Singles at Dave's, which is, I think, the most famous burger here, and it should be the standard cheeseburger. I didn't even know that. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I always hear about the Baconator. I think we went to Wendy's twice. I only had the Baconator, so I never had this. Okay, brioche bun. We got, ooh, a lot of pickles. That's One, two, five three, four, five pickles. pickles. Ketchup yeah. and mayonnaise, a little bit of onion, some big slice of tomato, some lettuce, and American cheese, a square meat patty, and ooh. another slice of cheese on the bottom. Overall, this burger is on the smaller side. Well, feels nice, so here we go. Mm. This is kind of what you think of and what shouldn't what an American cheeseburger would taste. Really? Second bite. Okay, I like it. Consistency wise, this comes very close to the Sonic burger. How about the taste? It's very different. You can taste the pickles and the onions, everything separately, but overall it comes nicely together like a well-versed meal. I also think the, the meat to bun ratio to veggie ratio is very good. The only thing I wish would that the patty itself would taste a little smokier, a little meatier. But aside from that, this is a pretty decent burger. I wanna give this like a 7.4. I think it's slightly better than the Hardee's burger that we had. So I'm pretty happy with that. But more importantly, because I can smell it. It smells so strong. Okay, they have all obviously normal fries, but they offer a couple of special ones. These are garlic fries and you can see it. They smell it's very like long, garlic. very thin, and they are. They look so greasy, but then flavored with garlic and some green stuff. Are they S tier? Oh my God, that's just gluttony at its finest. No, they're not S tier. Oh. I think they're the best ones though so far. I think they're a little better than the McDonald's ones because of the garlic flavor and stuff. Also like in the US how you can get infinite sauces basically yeah. when you eat in inside. In Germany, often the sauces cost money. Well, look how greasy my fingers are. It's all garlic and herbs and fat. Wow, on there. that's some grease ball. All right, so I know we're trying so many fast food restaurants in this video today, and there's so much more to the US, but I know Phil from the outside looking in always looks at the US like, all these fast food chains, you have so many. So that's the reason we're doing this video. We have plenty of other videos about local restaurants and cuisine. You should check those out. But for now, let me dig into this burger I've never eaten before. Pretty light, to be honest. Yeah, it's not a huge burger. 
It's on the smaller burger scale. Hmm. It tastes exactly like a burger you would have at like a poolside grill or barbecue, like a cookout. Really? Wow, that's what that's what it gives me a flavor of. Like you're you're at the pool, like it just opened, it's Memorial Day, you have a nice event, someone's grilling, and then you have this nice blue sky. Yeah, you've got the tomatoes, you've got the pickles, onions, lettuce, cheese, and your patty. Should I do another bite? I'm really full already. <laughs> we have like three more places to I go. I could eat more. What do you rate it? Better than the Big Mac. Definitely. But I think it's not as good as the Hardee's one, so I'll give it a 5.5. Oh, low yeah. ratings, harsh ratings yeah. from the American. I'm trying to be nice here. I get shed on enough by Americans, so I'm <laughs> trying to be nice. <laughs> wow, these are so greasy. Oh, I think it's just garlic butter drizzled all over it. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's like, wow. I wish we had like smell -o vision You would smell the garlic. It's like garlic Parmesan going on here. That's true, yeah. It's very, very strong. I don't, these are okay if you want them, but if you have too many of them, you're going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> I think that applies to most things we're eating today. That's true, that's However, true. However, not there yet. I'll let you know when. I'm doing this for science. For, <laughs> for you guys. For science. You're welcome, science. <laughs> With now six burgers in our bellies and three more to go, we leave Wendy's and Wally our way to the next destination, <laughs> which is not even a mile down the road please consider subscribing with the bell notification for our future videos. We want to thank our family tier patrons over at patreon.com slash Deanna and Phil. A shout out to Ethan Mitchell, Heather Kuffner, Hessen Matro, Shar Mills, Tarek Malkosh, Stephanie Vent, Megan Rosati, Klaus Eisart, Lee Lim, Robert J. Casper, Julia Van Gruba, Marian Demant, Sherry and Keith Dennis, Jessica Saranska, and Jeff Standen. Thank you. What a great day so far. I'm really enjoying this uh, American culture this American experience we're Get having out today. Of here. It's amazing. The best of the culinary world. I'm getting pretty full, but I still can rally. Don't worry. I can rally and hopefully still be objective about these burgers. Because you know, the first burger, the first food you eat it of the day, it always tastes a little better, right? So where are we going next? Culver's. Culver's? Now let's stop by this growing fast food chain from Wisconsin. We decided to stretch our legs again and walk the 20 feet from the parking lot to the entrance. At this point, I'm already full, but Phil is determined to keep going in the name of science. <laughs> so, oh, is that oh no, it's all food here. I smell fries, no. <laughs> no fries. We came to Culver's. Today we're here for the burger and the most iconic burger is this one. It looks amazing. This is the Bacon Deluxe Burger here at Culver's and it looks very promising. We have brioche bun. Then this is the first burger which has a couple slices of bacon on there. The smashed patty right here, very crispy. A slice of American cheese, big slice of tomato, some lettuce, some onions. Pickles on the bottom, mayonnaise. This looks like it was made with love. First burger with baking might might be a little bit of a cheat code compared to the other cheeseburgers, but it looks nice. Mmm. Okay, very nice, very nice. That was two bites. You're not allowed another bite. That's so good. Look at it. Nice cut here. You can see every layer of this burger, and that's exactly what it tastes like. You bite into the soft bun and then everything down here. It's so crunchy and it feels by far the freshest burger that we've had so far. Again, the meat could be a little bit more. They have a double version of this with two patties. It might be better, might be too much meat. I'm not sure, but this is very nice. I'll give this a 7.9. It's very nice. That's I your like. highest rating. I like it. That's good, man. Kulvas, I had not on my radar as a German at all. We came here. Had it twice now and very nice. So fries, they have crinkle cut fries. Another one that we haven't seen today. Oh yeah. Oh, hmm. They're less greasy than most of the ones we had so far. Very salty though, which I don't mind. Best experience so far. Happy with the fries, great burger. I too have not been to Culver's very often. The first time was with the video filming that we did and this is my second time. So here we go. I'll just say it's notably one of the bigger burgers we've had today and higher, so layers, even right? though Phil flattened it nicely for me. Thank you for that. Uh, it's still holding its own. So let's give it a try. It's holding its own because Phil flattened it for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, the disappointment. Okay. Oh, second bite. This is very fresh. It's almost not a burger because this patty is so thin, 
It's like a, maybe a cheat, like a cheesesteak. It's so flat and smashed. It's a veggie burger. It probably would have been way better as like a double or a triple layer. And I think the ratio still would have hold because there's so many fresh ingredients here. I don't know if it's the early bias or not, but I still think Hardee's might be good. Oh. And it's on that level. I would give this a 7.5. Yeah. I think it's matching the Hardee's vibe right now. Although it does taste a bit fresher because yep. of all of the vegetables that you get in there. A little healthier, weirdly, right? Well, yeah, healthier <laughs> as far as like burgers go. Yeah. But yeah. No, it's not bad. All right, time for the crinkle crut. Crinkle crut, wow, I'm speaking like no, I can't speak today. Crinkle crut, crut, crut fries. Well. Get out of here, man. Yeah, definitely on the top two or three fries that we've had today. It's coming close with McDonald's, I'm not gonna lie. It's very potato-y, which is nice. All right, here we are. We said two bite just for the judgment while this man finishes off the burger. They say, you can't out-train a bad diet, and you can easily out-eat a good training regimen, and uh, this video is proof. At this point, I am pretty full, but the show must go on. Only two more stops to go, and the next one is a place where a guy named Jack is stuck in a box. All right, Jack in the box, I've never been. This is the classic buttery Jack Sparrow burger That's that they not, have here. It's not Jack Sparrow. Mine is the Sparrow. Uh, interesting packaging, it comes in this little sleeve. It's fairly heavy and it's uh, ooh, it's fairly oily on the bottom already. Nicely patterned, very spongy brioche bun, little oily. Oh, mayonnaise on there. Couple of iceberg lettuce leaves, two tomatoes stacked to in on each other. Then which is some, what is that, Swiss cheese? It's yeah, not cheddar. It looks like, it could just be white American. Yeah, pretty uh, thin <laughs> patty, fairly heavy, like I said, feels dense. One bite, it's huge. Okay. Ketchup is squeezing out on these sides. It's better than expected. I didn't know Jack in the Box for burgers, or in general, haven't been. So it's a decent burger. A lot of iceberg lettuce makes it crunchy, but iceberg lettuce is just not my favorite. A little romaine lettuce would be nicer. But what I like is the taste of the patty comes nicely through here. A little bit better, definitely better than like at Sonic. So I would rate this. This is a hard one to rate. It's pretty decent. I think a 7.1. Actually pretty okay. I'm curious what you'll say. And then quick try of the curly fries. We got curly fries because- They're known is... for curly fries. Are they? Yeah. Oh, nice. And this is the only place they had it on there and curly fries are just superior to normal fries, if you agree. Let me know in the comments below. I don't know what it is. It can't be the shape, right? Why would they taste better? They usually, it's like double fried usually in this like batter and it yeah. tastes so good. And it's the seasoning, a little bit like yeah. Cajun seasoning. It's like orange, like more spices. They're so good. Those are the best fries for today. Absolutely no question. So far, let's go. Seventh burger of the day. Take your glasses off, I can't see your reaction. What do you think? I think this might be the best bun we've had today. I actually prefer no sesame seeds on my bun. On a brioche I, bun, definitely. Yeah. That's where Burger King goes wrong. I think this patty is decent. You know, it's not, it's, it's a, you definitely taste like a patty meat. Right. It's a lot of sauces though. I wish it had pickles. Yeah. So that's why I'm not giving it a higher rating. I think this is a solid 6.5. 6.5, no pickles. Fair, fair. And then curly fries. Here we go, here we go. Look at those nice and bounce and bounce. Oh, best fry of the day? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so far. Wow, I forgot how much I like Jack in the Box fries. I know it might not seem like it because we eat a lot of junk in our videos. If we make four videos a month, that's four times eating pretty poorly. We don't eat fast food that often and I haven't been a Jack in the Box in years. I think maybe like over a decade. And uh, these curly fries, pretty good. I feel like we don't need to disclaim that. We shouldn't need to. But it, you know, there's a misperception. If people only see that, I'm sure that's what they think. Yeah, no, I eat like this all the day, all day, every day. How's that water? I just spilled it all over me. Yeah, that's normal, but how is it? <laughs> it's normal. It's hot. It's ass hot. Yeah, it's, it's 6 p.m. We started at one. And this water has been sitting in a 95 degree car. 95 degrees. Oh, look at you, hot. Hi. Get the burger out I of your I just drooled hair. all over my, mm. <laughs> with water spilling. Yeah. All right, that's nice. 
Ooh. What the fuck? As we drive to our final destination, I wonder what my credit card company must be thinking right now. You know what? I, I just thought, at what point does my credit card be like, oh, suspicious behavior. <laughs> like, people go to 12 fast food restaurants uh, in one day, every half an hour as a charge for a burger meal. Someone hijacked your car just to go to fast food restaurants. With that thought, we make our way to Five Guys, the last and potentially most interesting stop on this burger adventure. All right, last but not least, we came to Five Guys, which is one of my favorite burger places. And to be fair, this is probably the least fast food on the list because there is no drive through Five Guys, right? Yeah, it's considered fast casual. Yeah, fast casual, you have to go in, we order. It's also um, a little bit more expensive. We get the little bacon cheeseburger. I think it's the best burger at Five Guys. It's also the regular bacon cheeseburger, which is just bigger. We just open this up and this looks absolutely atrocious. Like this looks horrible, right? Yes. I don't know, this thing is falling apart. I don't know what is happening. Check this out, it looks absolutely horrible. It looks shit. It's so good, man. Yeah? Mm. So we went all the way, which means I had a lot of ingredients. There's lettuce, there's tomato, there's pickle, um, there's even mushroom, there's onion. The sauce is so good. The patty tastes really good. This burger is a whole freaking mess, but maybe that's what a good burger needs. Maybe it needs to be a whole freaking mess. Two bites, I don't know, I will still finish this thing, even though I ate like three and a half other burgers a day. I rate this an 8.8. .8. Oh, yeah. Five Guys is decreasing. You used to say that was a nine? Yeah, I mean, it depends on the scale, right? On today's scale, it's a good step, one leak above every other burger that I had today. And then uh, let's see the Cajun fries quickly. These look very dark, heavily seasoned. In my opinion, usually some of the best fries. Well, you should say that after you try it. Good, but not as good today. They seem a little overcooked, a little too greasy. That's probably why they're so dark. Oh, I don't know why they're not quite as good as usual, but still slightly, slightly above the curly fries from Jack in the Box. So just barely the best fries, but by far the best burger. $8.99 before tax. It is very messy. I think we should keep it in the aluminum next time. Yeah, well, got to show it. So that's why I look half the burgers down there. Two bites, two bites. Ah. That was a soggy mess. That is a mess. Okay. I defended Five Guys a lot in the past. And to me, it used to be one of the best fast food burgers. It doesn't really count. I still think it is, but I think the taste wise has gone down a bit for me. Yeah. Like um, even the past few times we've had it in the US, we had it in Hilton Head last time we were here. We've had it in Germany several times. I don't know. I feel like it's gone down a bit. Like it's, it's not as, Ah, it's not the same uh, as I remember. Maybe I'm just getting older, wiser, <laughs> mature palate. Your palate is maturing. <laughs> but uh, I still think it is one of the best burgers that we've had, especially today. I would give this an eight out of 10 on the burger scale. Really? Yeah, I, it's not It's not blowing me away. It's not, I don't think I would crave this. So I agree with you partly. I think the last two times in Germany were a little disappointing. That's why I went in here with not such high expectations. Yeah. But I think that has the old taste. The burger's just a, a mess. I think I should deduct like 0.2 points for that mess. If it's just a nice presentation with that taste, I'd give it a nine. For me, the Cajun fries, even on a bad day, are like nine out of 10, 10 out of 10. Hell yeah, potatoes for the win. Good, good potatoes. We made it, eight burgers in eight hours. I think uh, I just got the notification on my computer here that uh, my citizenship is in the mail, it's being shipped. Yes. I will be an American citizen um, when this video is released. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, I cannot believe we just did that. I'm fasting all tomorrow and we're running. But that was a lot of fun. Let us know if you agree <laughs> with these ratings. We plan to do more videos like this in the future. Every week we upload a food video. I don't know about like this. We'll see you next week. Bye. And then we're not eating till then. Bye bye. Bye. Wow, it's popping. It's my jack in the box. It's my jack in the box.
I've never been, that's the drive through How does that song go? It's my in a box. What's before that? What are the lines? I don't know. It's not the best one. It's not as good as Jack Sparrow. 